<sighs> you guys, I'm honestly so upset and so livid. He loves me. He loves me. Y'all really can't see it. I mean, y'all can't see it. No, we can't see it. Y'all can't see that he loves me. But what all that stuff does to you, that's not what God wants for nobody. And it's just, it. Brace yourselves because we've got all the juicy details about a weird situation surrounding the multi talented Kiki Palmer and the one and only music mogul, Diddy. It seems like. Kiki's boyfriend Darius Jackson may have found himself in a rather fruity situation with the hip-hop legend, and the aftermath has left him scarred for life. But before we dive headfirst into the shocking details, let's set the stage and give you a glimpse into the serendipitous encounter that brought Kiki and Darius together. He's really my closest friend, so it just becomes a thing where I'm not gonna hide, you know, something that makes me happy. Turns out both Darius and Kiki's connection to HBO's Insecure ultimately led to their meet cute. It turns out that their paths crossed during a star-studded Memorial Day bash in 2021, hosted by none other than the fabulous Issa Rae and the one and only Diddy. Talk about a meek cute made in Hollywood heaven. Now, here's where it gets even more interesting. Darius, the man of mystery, actually attended the party with none other than his brother, the talented actor Sarunas Jackson. It seems like fame and connections run in the family. But let's fast forward to August of that same year when things started heating up between Darius and Kiki. They made it Instagram official. And boy, did Darius know how to celebrate his girl's special day. In a now deleted post, he showered her with a sweet tribute, expressing his gratitude for their unexpected summer love affair. It was all about being there for each other through thick and thin and showing that they bring their A-game to the relationship table. How romantic. However, here's the jaw-dropping twist. Before crossing paths with the fabulous Kiki, Darius was practically the king of being broke. I mean, seriously, he must have been on a first-name basis with financial struggles. We dug deep, but couldn't find a trace of his employment history anywhere. No LinkedIn profile, no work references, nada. The man was a total enigma when it came to making that moolah. But here's the tea we managed to spill. Apparently, Darius had been juggling odd jobs in the fitness and entertainment industries for over six years. Can you imagine just scraping by trying to make ends meet? Oh, and let's not forget his impressive YouTube channel with a whooping 19,000 subscribers. I guess that's something, right? Rumor has it that Darius was desperate to make it big in the film industry. I mean, who wouldn't want to be a star, but here's where it gets juicy. People started assuming he was only after Kiki for her money. They accused him of being a hobo sexual. Can you believe that? They claimed he latched onto Kiki just so he could have a roof over his head. Ouch. And when Kiki got pregnant, the gossip mill went into overdrive. Everyone was like, why didn't Darius put a ring on it first? Shouldn't he have sealed the deal before they had a baby? It was all so scandalous. People were questioning his intentions and calling him out left and right. Now, I don't want to totally trash the guy. Personally, I don't think he was flat out broke before Kiki came along. Maybe he was just struggling like your average Joe, and that's where Diddy comes into play. It has been rumored that Diddy has a shady history of exploiting broke black men, enticing them into compromising situations for money and fame, with gay encounters as part of the deal. Shocking, right? One of the famous individuals who fell into financial ruin despite early success is boxing legend Mike Tyson. At just 20 years old, Tyson was already a millionaire, amassing a staggering $400 million net worth by the end of his career. But things took a turn for the worse, and in 2003, he was forced to declare bankruptcy, losing every last penny of his fortune. It was during this low point that Tyson's path crossed with none other than Diddy. Now let's not kid ourselves. Diddy's legendary parties were known for their wild escapades, and Tyson found himself in the company of this business mogul. But here's the real dirt. Multiple celebrities have accused Diddy of playing power games and abusing his influence. Some claim that he would go to extreme lengths, even demanding sexual favors from those seeking his assistance. Jaguar Wright, for instance, called out Diddy, revealing a shocking encounter between Diddy and singer-actor Christopher Williams. Supposedly, Diddy arranged a meeting with Williams about a potential demo deal, but instead of just signing the paperwork, he allegedly asked Williams for a favor of the oral variety. Can you believe it? According to Jaguar, an attorney who used to work for Diddy accidentally stumbled upon a jaw-dropping scene. Picture this. The attorney innocently walks into Diddy's office, and lo and behold, there's Christopher Williams engaging in some oral activities with Diddy. Talk about an unexpected office encounter. 
but wait, it gets even better. The next day, when the attorney brings it up, expecting an apology or at least some embarrassment, Diddy reportedly goes all alpha male and says he can do whatever the F he wants in his own building. Classic Diddy. It's all about power for Diddy, you see. If he can make a man perform such acts on him, he believes he can manipulate people into doing anything for money. Shocking, I know. Taking all this into consideration, it's clear that Mike Tyson's involvement with Diddy had more to do with money, scandalous parties, and other questionable activities involving men. Now here's where it gets interesting. Back in the day, Tyson appeared to have some homophobic tendencies, both in his actions and his words. However, recently he caught attention for confronting rapper Boozy Badass over derogatory comments he made about Dwayne Wade's transgender daughter, Zaya Wade. During an appearance on Mike's podcast, Tyson didn't hold back, questioning Boozy's own sexuality and suggesting that Boozy's offensive remarks were a defense mechanism to distance himself from any homosexual inclinations. Tyson even hinted, I'm thinking you may like homosexuals. Boozy, of course, denied being anything but straight, but Tyson wasn't convinced. He continued to press Boozy, asking why he felt the need to offend homosexuals if he was truly heterosexual. Tyson and Boozy engaged in a heated discussion about Zaya Wade and her gender transition at such a young age. Tyson ultimately admitted that he had no place to offer his opinion on the matter since he wasn't directly involved. In the end, Boozy apologized to Dwayne Wade, although he maintained his disagreement with their decision. However, it's worth noting that Tyson's sudden interest in discussing and supporting transgender issues raised eyebrows given his previous lack of involvement in such matters. Fans had mixed reactions to this newfound advocacy from Tyson. Despite Tyson's sexual orientation being up for debate, his association with Diddy raises serious red flags. Many close to Diddy, including former bodyguards, have linked him to questionable activities involving homosexuality, suggesting that he would use his influence to help others in exchange for secrecy. This is the same man who allegedly believes that asking a straight man to perform oral acts on him represents the ultimate display of power. One can only imagine the unspeakable acts people desperate for his assistance might have endured. Anyway, it turns out that Tyson isn't the only celeb who allegedly scored big by pleasing Diddy in unconventional ways. Get ready for this bombshell. The game is rumored to have skyrocketed to success thanks to a mind-blowing contract he supposedly secured by having a steamy affair with none other than Diddy himself. Can you believe it? The things people do for fame and fortune. But that's not the only scandal brewing. The game and his older brother, Big Face 100, have been engaged in a bitter sibling feud for ages. And what's the root cause of their animosity, you ask? Money. It seems like their bank accounts have driven a massive wedge between them, and the drama just keeps escalating. You won't believe the latest twist in this sizzling tale. So, the game recently spilled some tea on the popular Drink Champs podcast, giving us a glimpse into his fractured relationship with Big Face. Spoiler alert, they're still far from being besties, folks. The tension is real. But here's where it gets really interesting. Big Face, not one to back down, decided to take the drama to Instagram, and boy did he stir the pot. He posted a super suggestive picture that had everyone buzzing. The caption was a real eyebrow raiser insinuating that the game's rap success wasn't solely due to his street credibility. The picture itself showed Diddy embracing the game from behind, leaving little to the imagination and sparking wild rumors about their connection. Now with all these juicy stories floating around, it's hard not to wonder about the newest addition to the mix, our friend Darius. Is he planning to follow in the footsteps of his famous counterparts and engage in some fruity activities with Diddy to boost his own career? It makes you wonder, doesn't it? Maybe he's already made some secret deals behind closed doors. After all, when it comes to making it big in the entertainment industry, some people are willing to do whatever it takes. But let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We'll have to keep our eyes peeled and our ears open for any whispers of fruity escapades involving Darius. Who knows what surprises might be in store for us? It's a crazy world out there, my friends, and anything can happen. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. Bye. This video